Hi everybody. Welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Watercolor Wednesday. I'm Leslie Watkins. Today I'm going to finish painting the note cards for the little note card holder I made. And um, if you've been following along, you know that you can get instructions for this note card holder for free when you place an order of $50 or more and you use this host code. So this host code was posted earlier today if you need to copy it down and I will be posting after the video today all of the links for the various supplies that I'm using for this project, but if, you, if you're in a hurry, you can go back and see a previous video and find that uh, link to those supplies as well. I'm using the Eclectic Garden stamp set. This is soft succulent ink, and I've got some quarter size pieces of the Fluid 100 watercolor paper. I've got some soft succulent mats pre-cut, and these are for the note card sized papers and envelopes. So they come in a pack like this. And this is very vanilla. They also come in basic white. And you get 20 to a pack. And they're very nice. They are pre-scored, so they're easy to fold. And you get these beautiful coordinating envelopes as well. So that's a really good deal. And the note card folder that I made fits those perfectly. And in here I have four note cards and four envelopes. And I've already painted one. So there's our artichoke painting. And today I'm going to paint the others. So to begin, I'm going to get myself a clear block. This is a number or a letter D clear block. So this is probably the most um, used size. So if, you, if you're just wanting to get one, if you're just starting out, I would recommend getting the D. But you will have to get bigger ones as you go along for larger stamps. And it is possible to get a complete set of clear blocks like this for 10% off if you get the entire set. And I would recommend that you do that if you can. Today we're going to do the blueberries, the little bird, and the beets. So I'm just going to get those stamps out. At the end of the show today, I'm going to be drawing a prize for the uh, fifth anniversary special that I announced on Monday. So stay tuned for that. You'll find out if you're the lucky winner. And I think we're going to, let's see, these are vertical oriented cards. So I'm going to have this coming down from the upper left, like so. So there's my stamp. Okay. And then And get these beets. I'm excited about the beets because I actually have some beets in my refrigerator ready to paint. Okay. It's very cute. And finally, the bird. I'm 
Let's see if I can get this to fit on my horizontal format. Well, I think I'm going to have to go this way for the bird. Okay. All right, so there are my three stamps. Actually, you know what? I think I should probably, since I have the stamps and the ink out, I'm going to go ahead and put my sentiments on here. So for the beats, I'm going to use this half circle one. And this says, thanks so much. And I'm just going to put this along the top. I like that. You know, this is a very handy stamp to have in that curved arc. I can see using that in a lot of different applications. And then let's pick a sentiment for the blueberries. Well, I haven't used this one yet. I'll use that. And this reads, I don't know what I'd do without you. So that could be a very nice note to send to a friend. Let me get this lined up on here. There we go. And I'll keep the bird just as a uh, plain note card without a sentiment. Okay. So I'm going to zoom you in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to be using watercolors today. So here are my watercolors, yellow, red, and blue. I'm just going to put those off to the side here. And I've got a couple of different brushes. I've got a number seven and a number four. I'm just going to make sure that I'm broadcasting. Oh, hello, everybody. We've got Sandra. Deb! Hey, Deb! Oh, you're watch watching from work. Okay, nice to have you join us. And Carol. Kelly, good morning. Well, I see a lot of folks here today who are actually in the drawing. So stick around till the end so you can see. I think we'll start with the little bird. So let me... Bring you in closer because this is actually quite a tiny picture. There you go. So I'm just going to start with, um, I've got some pale green on my brush and I'm just going to begin with a light wash on those leaves. And I'm going to paint kind of fast today because I've got four of these to do and I don't want this to be a very long video. I want to get to your prize drawing. And also today's an exciting day because as you know it's going to be the last chance release. So today at three o'clock Eastern Standard Time for those of us, us who are signed up as demos for stamping up we're going to have a chance to see the um, new catalog that's coming out. And everybody's going to have a chance to purchase items that are going to be retiring. So it's kind of an exciting day, and I bet a lot of folks are getting ready to go online at 3 to see what's, what's going to be carrying over and what's going to be retiring. And there should be also some, some good sales, too, so um, it will be a good day to do some shopping. 
All right, so I'm just I'm just putting a little pale wash of a bright yellow green on my leaves and I'm just going to go ahead and do all three cards at the same time. And I'm going to keep this very simple today. So anybody could do this. You can do this with your your watercolor pencils would be perfect. Your Stampin' Blends or your markers, and um, if you want to, if you want to use your inks, your water-based inks, just as I'm doing with the watercolors, it's the same procedure. The colors may uh, move a little bit differently on the paper because inks are actually dye colors, whereas the watercolor pigments stay primarily on the surface of the paper. The dye colors will penetrate. So uh, they do move a little bit differently, but you still handle them just the same. Okay, so there are there are my paintings so far. Let's see if I can get them all on the viewer at the same time. There we go. All right, and um, so what I'm doing now is I'm mixing up a little bit of the blue into my green mixture to get a slightly darker tone. And I can begin to model these leaves a little bit. go. So in just a few minutes you can have a set of beautifully hand-painted note cards to send or give as a gift. to make a great birthday present. So those are my leaves started. I'll come back and I'll put some some darker colors on those in a minute. Let's go to the little bird here. You've seen me paint this bird a number of times now. So I'm just giving it a, a kind of a warm belly and chest. And I give it a beautiful red throat. And got its wing, its tail. It would be a lot of fun to put the um, the glossy accents over these once they're dry too. Putting a little tone on the branch.
and let's see. This could be a little darker. Feet. Okay. Get those blueberries. If you're interested in learning more about watercolor painting, you may want to subscribe to my Watercolor Card Club, where every month we paint a different subject. And, uh, and each lesson will help to uh, get you more and more acquainted with the techniques and concepts of painting three-dimensional forms. And if you'd like to do that, just go to my website and click on the Watercolor Card Club page and you will get a lot more information there about it. And while you're there, you can also subscribe to my newsletter notes and stay updated and notified of all of the upcoming classes and workshops that I have coming right up. And that reminds me, there is still room in the Honeybee Workshop and that registration is going to be closing in just a few more days. So that may be something that you'd be interested in finding out more about. That's going to be a really nice all-day workshop. There's going to be a morning and an afternoon session. And you also have the option of getting the deluxe workshop box that has all sorts of um, bookmaking tools and surprises. And, um, and I have just one of those left. There's a single one left, so if you hurry, you may be able to get your hands on that. Okay, so now I think um, I just want to go back now into these pictures and put a couple of little drawing lines. So if I take a... Um, a darker mixture I can I can start to add some of these little feathers in my bird's wings I can go around his eye a couple of strokes on his tail get my branch get these little little branches. He's looking pretty cute. Put some accents on my leaves. So now I'm taking a, a much darker mixture. And I can start to put some details here and there. There we go.
just about done. And I think my greens could use a little more yellow. So I'm just going to add a little bit here and there. So I'm just adjusting as I go along as needed. You want to keep working. all over your picture. Don't don't just work on one spot and then move to the next and move to the next. You want to you want to make adjustments as you go along because everything's going to affect the way the other areas look in your picture. So you just want to keep keep making these little little adjustments in, in color and tone. Here we go. All right, those are looking pretty good. A little bit here. And then finally, I want to get some My blue here. I'm going to be planting a new blueberry patch in my garden this year, I think. That's the plan. We'll see if we can get some good blueberry bushes. All right, well, I think that looks pretty good. We'll, we'll leave it at that for now. And, um, and now I'm, I'm just going to mount up my images on my mats. There we go. Little bird. Okay. So let me see, what did I do with my mats? Here they are. Okay. I'm going to zoom you out a little bit. It's extra. I just want to smooth down some of these edges. It's time for me to change the blade on my trimmer. You can tell when the edges start to come up a little bit, but it's very simple to just push those down with your bone folder. I've got my liquid glue here. Get that mounted up. Going to leave a little bit more area at the bottom here so that it, uh, it looks um, it, it looks like it's more weighted at the bottom and so it's a little more pleasing to the eye.
And this one will be centered like that. Now I do want to add, because my beets have that little tie on there, I'm going to put a piece of my linen thread around it and find my piercing tool and put a couple of holes and grab my linen thread. I'm just going to go around that a couple of times. Whoops. I think I'll go one more. Tie that in a knot. There we go. And my card bases. Okay, so there are my four cute note cards. Which I think make a really nice set using the Eclectic Garden stamp set and I don't know if this is going to carry over, so um, if you think you might like to get this stamp set, I would not wait because a lot of things are going to be selling out later today, so I'd keep an eye out for that to see if it was available. Okay, and these four cards 
will fit inside of my note card folder. And again, if you'd like to get the instructions to make this, place an order of $50 or more using this host code. The only way you can get it is by using the host code. I'll post that below. <clears throat> and, um, and you will get the video and instructions on how to, <clears throat> excuse me, how to make this little note card folder. There it is. And it's just held shut with this pretty ribbon. And that is the eclectic garden note card set. So now, for all of you who have been waiting patiently <laughs> for the prize winning portion of the show, let me change the view here on the screen. I'm just getting this set up. Hang on just a moment. So here we go. These are all the folks that um, sent me a happy anniversary message. I'm going to let this spin. And the winner is, oh my goodness, right on the line there, Tommy E. So Tommy, send me your mailing address, please. And, uh, and you can direct message me that. You don't have to put it down in the comments. Just send me a message or an email with your mailing address, and I'm going to send you a very special surprise in the mail. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. I hope you uh, give this a try. It's a really cute stamp set with really cute images, and anybody would love to get this as a special surprise, or you might want to just keep it for yourself. I'll be back on Saturday for Paper Crafting Saturday. I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope you check out the Last Chance products later today because that's going to be exciting. There's going to be some good deals there. If you need any help, let me know. And, um, and I think that covers everything for today. So stay well, stay happy, stay creative, and I will see you next time.